Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy C to the is H U to the C K. One half of your smoke kings, you dig? Salute. Just got off work. I'm looking rough and shit. But what I wanted to talk about today was, man, the Tax Stone and Troy Ave situation, man. It is, it is very, or getting out of hand, man. Like, well, it's been gotten out of hand uh, with all the facts coming out. And, you know, the facts still haven't came out all the way. But with all the facts that's coming out right now, you don't know what to think of what's going on. You know what I mean? Hmm. I say that, all of that to say this, man. I hope, I hope, I hope, hope that they don't fry both of these people, you know, both parties involved. I mean, with Troy Ave, I guess he's good, self-defense and all of that, if that's what happened. Um, but right now, Tax Stone, but it's not looking too good, but I know you just posted a... a a bell of five hundred thousand dollars. That's a lot of fucking money. They trying to get you to go broke so you ain't got no lawyer fees. I already know. Hopefully you're a smart man. You got some money put up for lawyers. That's another subject. Uh, mm. However, however, it's just tragic, man. Somebody lost their life for real, for real. That's so fucking tragic. It makes no damn sense, you know. Whatever happened to using these, you know what I mean? I know, I know. In those type of situations, or in some street situations, you might need a pistol. But in a situation where there's mad people at a club, or a, I don't care where it is, there's mad people around, and y'all's in a confined room. There's no reason there should be a pistol in there. And that that's not that's not uh, taking shots at any of any of the parties involved. That's really taking shots at the at the at the vendor and the security that night. You know, all them people was in there. You need to frisk everybody that's coming in there. I don't give a fuck if they're a celebrity or not. Them be the main niggas that you need to frisk. For real, for real. You know, I was watching something the other day. You know. They're saying all this, everything about black on black violence and this, that, and the other. You know, there's a nigga that said, if you are contributing into black and black violence, or yeah, if you're contributing to black and black on black violence, then you're a racist. You're a bigot. All of that. You are no better than the KKK. It holds some truth to it, you know what I mean? Like, to be real honest with you, if you out here just running amok, killing, raping, all of that stuff to your people, fuck, fuck to your people, to anybody, period. But to your people especially, you worse than the KKK. You worse than a neo-Nazi. Are you on the same level? That's you. However... Man, I just hope and pray that both parties involved will be blessed and covered by, you know, the blood of Jesus. My condolences to to Banger, who lost his life. I don't know any of these parties personally, but, man, to hear that story is very, very sad. Man. It's very, very sad. And that's, you know, that's probably wasn't even about to turn out that way, you know what I mean? But... Unfortunate events happen, you know, all that good shit. Mm. Hold on one second. Mm. Either way, you know, it is fucked up. You know, you guys think out there, you young men, you young ladies, you young women. 
you young men, you young boys, whatever you, you know what I mean, whatever you classify yourself as, you guys think before you before you do. Think about your actions before you actually do them shit. You know what I mean? It's, it can mess up your life, mess up the lives around you, mess up the people's lives that you're trying to mess up. Everybody's affected just by your action. Just remember that, man. Change the world one one kind of step at a time, one kind of action at a time. You did. That's how we changed the world. Anyways, man, this has been just a little discussion. Get some shit off my chest. Just wanted to talk about it. See everybody else talking about it. You know, decided to play Mr. Me Too this day. Uh, man, y'all always, man, have a blessed and productive week. You know. I love you. If nobody else do, you did. Mm. One half of the smoke can, you did. Remember, positivity always kills the enemy. The battles in the mind, the wars in the heart. Prepare the mind for that war in the heart, you did. Salute. Love y'all.